Our coverage, of course, now moves to the perspective on Barcelona. By now, you've heard that this Spanish city is a very popular tourist destination. But how familiar are you with the area where this attack happened? Well, today, police swarmed Las Ramblas, as we told you. So we would like, uh, we'd like you to talk a little bit now about what it would look like on a normal day. Our CBS DFW digital anchor, Matt Uris, is joining us live. And uh, Matt, you have some knowledge of this area uh, where all of this happened. Kind of walk us through of what this area is like on any typical day, middle of the week. Thanks, Ken. Las Ramblas really is at the heart, the center of uh, Barcelona. And if you were visiting there from all around the world, this is a place you would definitely be going to see. It cuts right through the center of that city. It's filled with bars and different shops and restaurants. And you can see here in this video that was actually shot by one of our web producers, Mark Snyder, essentially a year ago. People just everywhere flooding those streets. What you won't see in this shop, it also goes on, is those cars that are able to drive on either side of the pedestrians as they, they typically enjoy their day. But it's these, these locations right now that we've seen that have been getting hit. You think back to Bastille Day in Nice in July 2016, uh, or during Christmas time in Berlin at the Christmas market. Uh, these vehicles just, just going through areas like this, they're so frequently traveled and then garner so much press attention uh, in the aftermath. But obviously a stark contrast from what's typically there and what we've seen today, Ken. Matt, you talk about the popularity of this place for tourists. We know, of course, uh, American tourists love to head over to this area, in particular American students uh, during the summer. What, if anything, do we know right now about any possible students that may be in the area? Clemson and Oregon's basketball teams are actually there for a tournament. Their hotel was not far from the scene uh, from where all this happened. Now, thankfully, obviously, none of them were hurt. Uh, but as we hear back, uh, undoubtedly, Ameri Americans, other Americans were there today. Uh, and we'll obviously be keep reporting this and, and keep our, our fingers on the pulse to see uh, what comes in the hours and days ahead, Ken. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of information still coming out of Spain, and we're going to keep a close eye on that, as you mentioned. Matt Uris, thanks so much uh, for your insight and for the information you shared with us.